Hello and welcome to a new video and it's um, delving into a new area I'd like to do more of on my channel which is retro TV and computer equipment. So we're going to be looking at the ZX81. There are plenty of videos on the ZX81 out there but I couldn't find one that uh, coupled it with a television of the time. The other reason for doing it is these were the two uh, devices I had, um, or our family had, when I was uh, 11. We had the television from um, 1973 and the ZX81 from 81 when it came out. So this is just a quick unboxing of the ZX81. Unfortunately, mine is a little bit tatty in terms of the box, the, the uh, cardboard sleeve. Inside is a couple of poly inserts, and you can see there's ZX81 there with the power pack on the right hand side. For those unfamiliar with uh, this computer, it was launched in 81, and you can see on the side uh, there's a a socket for the UHF out, uh, one for the ear and mic and one for the power. And then on the back there's a slot for the optional 16K RAM pack. You can see it's got a completely flat, um, supposedly coffee proof, waterproof keyboard, which could be a bit of a nightmare to use, but you did get used to it. As I say, there's a 9 volt DC power pack in there which plugs in the side and then one of the uh, great features of this computer so that you could use it with a television was it came with a built-in UHF modulator so you plugged in the lead that came with it again suddenly my cables not in great condition but I need to get those replaced it also came with a 3.5 mil headphone cable uh, you can see the price on there just about to make it out from WH Smith. I think it was £70, 69.99 back in the day. So that's the ZX81. And moving on from that, we'll have a look now at the television. Now this television, I believe, was launched in 1973. It's 1972 or 73, around about that time. Uh, my father bought it shortly after I was, I was born. It weighs an absolute ton and as you can see the depth of it um, is almost uh, the same dimension as the width. It is incredibly deep with the back end of the tube there. You can also see the UHF uh, port there and the two pots for uh, brightness and vertical hold I think. Also on the back there you can see the little aerial holder for an indoor aerial which it came with which was like a, a dish I'm going to see if I can find some pictures of that. So that is the, uh, the television. On the front we have four pots again, or, or um, variable controls for picture, colour, hue, and the on-off switch and volume combined. And then at the top you can see there's a rotary dial for the UHF channel and a little window showing that the, the channel that you're actually on. So that's the... Um, television so let's have a look at it actually in action you can see I've got the ZX81 set up at the bottom uh, but I've also got you can see it will take um, a second or two to warm up normally about 20 seconds to warm up but I had run it prior to making this video so uh, in fact it's warming up a little bit more quickly and we can tune the rotary dial at the top and you can see tune it and the display the window shows what channel you're on on the UHF scale and lo and behold we have on here my favorite television program of the time in the late 70s and early 80s used to watch this with my dad all the time every Saturday night uh, Batman the 1960s classic series so that's using the aerial input uh, and I'll talk a bit later and actually do a video on um, how I went about making that 
uh, signal uh, to work on the old television. And now we move on to the ZX81 itself. As I say, I'm going to go into more detail with, with all of this in future videos. So I'm swapping the lead now from the UHF input, aerial input, to the UHF input from the ZX81 computer and changing channel down to around about 36. And there we can see the little K cursor that you got with a ZX81. And again, I'm going to do much more detailed videos on the ZX81, probably with the television as well in it, uh, linking up with a modern computer and copying programs across and um, downloading them via sound, simulating the cassette at the time. So just as one final little bonus, this is uh, a brief glimpse into how I got uh, the picture set up. Uh, this is a fairly unusual picture you won't see very often. This is Microsoft Windows 10 running on a 1973 television. There's Google. And so yes, I'm going to do another video uh, over the holiday period um, for linking the um, the ZX81 to a ZX81 emulator on a PC and also I'm going to do one covering the UHF output from the um, from the PC and how I did that as well. You can see paint there as well. So it actually works surprisingly well for a nearly 50 year old television. So that's it guys for this one and uh, please look out for my future videos. I'm going to be doing more on the ZX81 and that television. And please like and subscribe. Thanks very much.